Uh, Unit Proving Grounds is a U.S. Army test facility where we test everything from artillery to wheeled and tracked vehicles to aviation and air delivery systems. Unit Proving Ground is about the size, it's a little larger than Rhode Island and about a third size of uh, Massachusetts. The U.S. Army Proving Grounds has been part of the space program since the induction of the space program. Uh, we see behind us is the weight tub for the cluster drop test, and which is testing the configuration of the three main parachute, which will be the same configuration that the actual Ares rocket will be coming, coming down when it uh, separates on a launch. Uh, we're very excited here at Yuma Proving Grounds to help out with the space program and be part of that, uh, the Ares and Constellation program. Uh, the objective of today's test is to uh, to get some basic uh, performance characteristics of our Ares-1 main parachutes in a uh, cluster configuration. Before we transported it to the plane, uh, we did a weight and balance on the, uh, on the load to ensure that we were within the, the 42,000 pounds that uh, we were planning on for the test and then uh, also wanted to see where the uh, center of gravity of the load was located for our, for our test purposes. We brought in a flatbed truck and, and we lifted up that pallet with the weighted tub and the, the cluster uh, of parachutes on it and, and transported it down here to the C-17 aircraft. For the, for the drop, what, uh, what happens is we have a 15-foot uh, a tow parachute that's, uh, that's uh, thrown out the back of the aircraft and when we get to the right location in the, uh, on the drop zone, that uh, uh, 15 foot uh, uh, tow parachute uh, extracts two 28 foot uh, extraction parachutes that that uh, then pull the uh, uh, tub and, and pallet assembly out of the back of the aircraft. Um, the uh, extraction parachutes are then released and uh, they uh, deploy a programmer parachute. And then the, uh, the load falls under the uh, uh, programmer parachute for about 25 seconds. At that point, the, uh, the uh, programmer parachute is cut away, and that uh, enables the, uh, our main test article, the, the cluster of uh, three Ares-1 main parachutes, to be deployed. Um, and then uh, we go through a series of briefing stages on that cluster of main parachutes. Uh, over a period of about 90 seconds before the, uh, uh, the uh, tub uh, lands on the desert floor. Uh, the recovery chutes for the Ares had to be redesigned because the uh, Ares 1 first stage booster is much heavier and it re-enters at a much higher velocity than the uh, shuttle SRBs. Therefore, we needed much larger and much stronger parachutes. Uh, but although we did design these off the uh, it was an evolutionary design off the heritage uh, system of the, uh, of the shuttle's SRBs. This uh, cluster test today finished up our basic performance test. Where we're going next is we'll be taking each of the individual tests, the pilot, the drogue, and the single mains, and we'll be doing uh, strength tests. We'll be putting them on, we'll be testing that design load, and then overload test to qualify them to actually fly on the Ares-1 vehicle. Uh, the, uh, the test was spectacular to see uh, three 150-foot diameter parachutes uh, fully inflated at one time dropping against the desert background was just awesome. This is a big milestone for the development of our, uh, our Ares-1 uh, main parachutes and, and uh, this is a, a great test in preparation for our Ares-1X flight later this summer.